Okay, folks, I have a 2011 LML Duramax here, and this customer was complaining about a rough idle and the truck would stall out at times. Um, he actually replaced the camshaft position sensor on it himself uh, prior to having me look at it just based off of a code that the truck had. Um, so you give me a second here, and I will go into detail as to what we got. Okay. So you'll see this truck here, it has a fuel rail pressure sensor code, it has a camshaft position sensor code, and then it has a five volt reference code in it. All right, one thing you'll notice about the main, the first two codes there, your fuel rail pressure sensor code and your camshaft position sensor code, is that both of those are circuit, like there are circuit failures with those codes, okay? Typically, you see something like that you know, you would go so far as to think, okay, hey, the sensor itself has failed, okay? However, this one is actually a, has a 5-volt reference sensor code associated with it, the 641 code, all right? On these Duramaxes, you'll find that your camshaft position sensor, your oil rail, your I mean, your oil pressure sensor, your fuel rail, your AC pressure, and your uh, DPF all share the same 5-volt reference from the ECM, Okay, and with these codes being intermittent because this customer, he could actually clear these codes out and clearing the codes out is not what made the truck run better. It's just that the the fault itself had corrected for that time and that's why he could drive it. But anyways, he would clear the codes and he'd go for a while and then they'd come back. Um, but there was really no rhyme or reason as to why the codes would uh, would become active. Okay. Now, I found that with these Duramaxes, um, because it seems like a lot of folks have this same failure, um, what will happen is a lot of folks will have over here on their oil pressure is that when the check engine light comes on, the oil pressure will start fluctuating. Okay. So, I've logged this truck earlier, and I'm going to pull it up here. And, okay. So... I don't actually have like the graph up here where you can actually see everything, but that's just so you can focus mainly on the data here. Okay, so this truck was running, I was driving it. All right, keep your eye on the fuel pressure, your oil pressure, and your AC at your uh, voltage there. All right, you see, it's went to five volts, five volts on your fuel pressure, uh, practically zero volts on your oil pressure. All right, and actually, if I showed you more of this log, you, there's moments where your AC pressure actually drops off to zero. All right, now the thing with these five volt reference sensors is that you should never see a sensor go to zero and you should never see it go to uh, five volts because that would indicate that you've either got uh, your, sensors, your sensor signal has been shorted to either power or ground or you have a open in your uh, power or your reference wire, or you have a uh, open in your uh, ground wire. Okay, now, you'll see that as the truck goes on even more, you see, like, there, there's again, it goes to, to 5 volts. All right. All right. On these Duramaxes here, from the factory, this harness that goes across the... Uh, the AC line here, your low pressure line here, this line from the factory is notorious for being rubbed through. Okay, this one here, I actually repaired the wires because this is where the wires were broke at. But um, what I did was just repair the, the wires here, all the ones that were broke, and then I took and zip tied it back to the main harness here. Okay, that's one thing. But then another place that GM tells you to look is right here. Uh, this harness here that goes above the uh, EGR cooler, I mean, not the EGR cooler, excuse me, the EGR valve, the edge of this uh, this metal gasket has been known to cut through this harness here and cut, cut wires there as well and give multiple issues, okay? That's another spot to look at. And then they also say that this ground strap here in the back, this ground strap has been known to cut through here as well, uh, cut through these this harness here and give issues as well. So, if you happen to have one of these Duramaxes of LML and you're experiencing erratic idle, uh, 
issues with oil pressure, <laughs> my little boy over there is calling for me. Uh, if you're experiencing issues with a uh, erratic idle, as I said, uh, fluctuating oil pressure, uh, stall conditions, or you're having uh, DPF pressure sensor codes after replacing sensors and they're not fixing it, uh, AC pressure codes, um, or you're having an intermittent uh, five volt reference code, I believe that's a 641 code, if you have any of those before you start replacing sensors and spending a whole lot of time in diag, just go and look over your harness real good um, because the, the information's out there. These Duramaxes, especially these LMLs, are notorious for these engine problems, or I mean these engine harness problems. Um, anyways, I hope that little bit will help you. Uh, thank you for watching.